Welcome everybody, it is Friday, and you know what time it is, what time is it this Friday, man? It's not TLF day, but it is what to main in 9.1, because we have decided, and this is our decision, our motives, our reasons, but hey, maybe our arguments can uh, help out can if persuade, you are undecided, yeah. uh, or whatever, so... Uh, I would say um, uh, we have a couple of specs that were um, in, I would say, the running race. I had three, no, four specs in oh, the running yeah. race. Uh, I think you were decided a, a long time ago. It, 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 it took about four months for me as well, so don't, don't <laughs> worry about it. We have something to talk because yeah. we did, we did, we do get a lot of questions about this, and I know uh, maining is something subjective, but we can run yeah. you through our thought process. And this tier list will be a little bit different. It's not necessarily a tier list. We're gonna have like a 100% will main. It's yeah. something that's gonna be our alt, and then going down the list is like, okay, we're not gonna main this and stuff like that. So this is all subjective. Take it with a grain of salt. It's not. It's not like your classical tier list for sure. But hey. It's all about mains. And you know you cannot have a main in 9.1 with proper add-ons. You cannot play without add-ons, man. This is how the game is right now. Yeah. And who better to help out with your add-ons than CurseForge? Yes, CurseForge has been a very, very consistent and I would say long-time partner of ours. Super stable app. And I can see now that uh, the updates for the app are on a weekly basis. So a lot of improvements and stability as well. You can have all your add-ons in one place, you know, organize them update them all with one click and also you can check our add-ons that you're probably gonna see in the videos in the description you just click that link and you'll, you'll get to the page of the CurseForge Marcellian online page where all the add-ons are there so thank you to the CurseForge client for sponsoring the video and now let's see uh what are we looking at well we're gonna be <laughs> starting with Havoc Demon Hunter Havoc Demon um, Hunter Okay, uh, go ahead, go ahead, man, go ahead, go ahead. Well, it's, 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 like, it's, it's a thing, like. uh, because obviously uh, the, we're going to be talking mainly DPS here, but we do also off-spec. The thing with Havoc for me was something that it was really close to becoming a main, because it has a lot of potential when it comes to the momentum build, which is really fun. It, um, it, it can switch into the single player one, single target one. It has about three legendaries that are viable, so it has... <laughs> I like it, it can switch to single player. <laughs> yeah, single, pl single player Havoc. It has uh, well, thing. I mean, nobody else matters when you're playing Havoc anyway, course, man. So yeah. it, it, it has to be, it, it's, it has versatility, it has options, it has different builds, which are all good for me. It's very mobile, it's, and if you do play Momentum, it's not easy. I have to say, it's not easy, and especially in dungeons, it can be a real, real freaking blast. Uh, for me, Havoc was very close to become a main, but it will probably be redirected to uh, a main alt or has right. potential. That's kind of how it is for me. All right, all right. Same thing for me with the Feral Druid. I have, I have main Feral Druid in 9.0. It's a blast to play. It, it was one of the specs that was in the race for uh, becoming a main in 9.1 as well. Uh, but I have fallen in love with another spec uh, we'll get to shortly. But Feral is definitely going to be one of my main alts. Uh, I think I talked uh, in all of our tier lists about Feral and how good and fun it is. Uh, absolutely love it. There's, you know, same, mostly the same arguments is here. Not the easiest spec to pull off. Super mobile. Tons of single target damage. Decent enough AoE damage and, you know, fun as hell. So, main alt for sure. BM Hunter, baby. BM, BM Hunter, okay. Ah, oh, well, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to talk <laughs> about BM Hunter without, you know, talking yeah, about... Because, all right, all yeah. right. So listen, uh, first of all, we need to make a correction. Let's, let's just put this there. Uh, it's, it's probably better. Okay. Uh, BM Hunter is... Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a thing because right now it's, it's good in PvP, right? It's, it's in arenas. Yeah. I, I, I keep looking at AWC because listen, arenas let, are let, kind let, of like... Let me help you out. Let me help you out. <laughs> this is, is going to be... This is going to be right. Because yeah. we can segue right. into Survival Hunter. For yeah, this, we're, this. we're going to segue into Survival Hunter. Okay, so BM Hunter is going to be my main <laughs> alt. And I can talk about BM Hunter. Hunter and Survival Hunter at the same time, so that we make this a little bit, uh, Cause, cause he's smart, a, a little bit, a little bit together like this. So BM Hunter is really good in arenas. I'm, 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 I like, I like having pets, man. I like having big ass dinosaurs and beasts yeah. and shit that attack people. My, in terms of fantasy, if BM had a little bit more depth, it would have probably been a main spec for me. But we're gonna delegate that to the Survival Hunter, which is going to be my 100% main that I have decided. It took a lot of time, and I did run through a lot of options and um, spreadsheets and. Uh, and shirts, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go. Stuff. I'm not gonna get geeky too geeky, uh, geeky into it. But why, Flame? Why um, is survival right. will be your main? So first of all, survival has uh, damage potential, which actually is important. It's not, it's not at the top, but if you really try hard, you can actually overcome a lot of uh, other people. Um, 
that aside, it has builds. It has about right now in 905, it has three different builds one for Mythic Plus and two for raids, with the uh, uh, legendary for each, which is really cool. It has uncapped AoE for dungeons, which is also really nice to feel that you're throwing a bomb and you hit everything, not just like five targets, because that's just silly. And it has the uh, hunter utility kit. You, ha you have traps, you have all of the things that you want to survive. You can pop a turtle to, you can feign death and watch everybody else die. And that's fine because you're there, you're a hunter, you don't really care. And you can say Gloria Gaynor, I will survive. Yeah, ex <laughs> exactly. Plus, plus you have bloodless, you have a lot of things that people could use. So I am, I am good, I am good on survival. Survival is going to be my main. 100%. Uh, I am all for it. I always love survival and it's one of these specs that doesn't get too much treatment from Blizzard. Although, honestly, uh, you know, in, at least in AOE it looks pretty good. We'll have to see how 9.1 rolls yeah, out. Yeah, we'll see. This, is, this some... is the thing, right? Uh, when you're talking about BM, you know Sylvanas dropped the bow and you're gonna have to main with Yeah, that's, that, that's uh, the thing and that kind of kind of takes us into marksmanship as well, be, which is also going to be one of my main all because whenever oh. I play oh. a class, oh. I play all of the specs and if I'm going to have to uh, have an alt between uh, BM or Marksman if it ever becomes important in the raid that I have to be range. I can play whichever one of the two is, uh, is stronger at the time. I like both the way that they're doing Marksman in Shadowlands is way better than it was in BFA and if we're going to be playing PvP and any of these three specs will be the best one for Hunter, yeah. I'll play whatever that spec is because yeah. I don't mind. I like all of them actually. Yeah, this, this has a little bit of weight into the decision making because, you know, uh, if we pick a class, you know, to be our main, then one of those specs uh, should be viable in in PvP, which will not necessarily be the same thing as in PvE. So this is yeah. why, you know, uh, you're gonna see a lot of alts here from the specs that we choose to main. Uh, okay, next up, Assassination Rogue. Well, that's my main. <laughs> 9.1 <laughs> will see me playing Assassination Rogue. Um, it was a hard, hard debate between Feral and Assassination because they're very similar in a lot of ways, you know, bleeds and all of that stuff. But I do like Assassination for PvE raid specifically. It's very easy to pull off, not that complicated at all, but kind of difficult to pull off in uh, Mythic Plus. It's, it's definitely outshined by Outlaw and probably subtlety, you know, subtlety will be close in, in single target damage for sure, but assassination this time in Shadowlands feels really good, plus it kind of scales a bit better moving forward, so I'm expecting that, plus the Sylvanas daggers <laughs> uh, as well, uh, which we have talked about, subtlety is probably going to benefit more from the shadow damage, but regardless, they look pretty cool. I just love the fluidity of assassination, I love the simplicity of it in single target, and the fact that um, as survival, it has different builds, you know, for single target, you go one way with a different legendary, for, for mythic plus, you go a totally different way with a different legendary, I love that versatile aspect of it and it also gives me access to uh, my favorite rogue space of all time which is subtlety and uh, I would put out those well and I'm gonna tackle all three of them right now because all of them are gonna be alts for me like all the rogue specs, probably mm. subtlety for uh, uh, PvP mostly and I'm gonna still tackle outlaw to see um, how our mythic plus are going to go in 9.1 mm. but assassination remains uh, the main main for me and survival for Mr. Flame here. Oh yeah, that's that's actually, uh, I if I would have to talk about Rogue in any capacity, Assassination would probably be the one that I would like to main in Raids. Yeah, I always thought about if I would ever main a Rogue in Raids, it would probably be Assassination, because it just feels like it, it's, it's good. It it's belongs really there. Good. It's really good, yeah, and it's uh, quite easy to pull off. All right, let's All see right. Fury let's, Warrior. Let's look Fury Warrior. Fury Warrior for me was like Havoc, another contender for uh, the potential main, mostly because I would I would have loved to play Prot as well as an alt in Dungeons, because Pro Warrior is probably my favorite tank as, the, as of this point. Fury Warrior is very fast-paced. It kind of does uh, does what Havoc does. It doesn't have as much mobility. And uh, to be fair, uh, if, if we're going to compare Momentum Havoc with the standard Fury, Momentum Havoc seems to be a little bit more skill intensive, although that could be just me specifically. I think Fury has potential. Here? It's, it's yeah. yeah, that right there. It's really good. It's fun. It's a nice break. I would probably, whenever I'm tired of playing my main and alt and I just want to have some fun and do a dungeon, I'd probably hop into Fury or Havoc and just smash some stuff because it's really fun. You don't have to like be super invested in it. It's just that that's all there is. And I think ARMS also has potential as well. ARMS brings a different flavor than Fury Warrior for me. It slams hard. It's really satisfying. It can yeah, be really good juicy. in PvP as well. PvP if, if is it, the meta. It's, if it would <laughs> ever become an alt for me, uh, 
and if I would have to play PvP, it'd definitely be arms. It's it's satisfying. Although, although Fury is going to look pretty it's, pretty it's, the, hard it's in It's getting PvP. a lot of stuff. Man. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, watch out because it's gonna have a, a better moral strike. Let's see. So uh, we'll see. Now, okay. Frost Death Knight. Frost DK and, and uh, unholy obviously DK. unholy DK because I'm a I'm a multi specker. I, I play pretty much all the specs. Go hand in hand with what I uh, thought was gonna be another one of my main alts because I'm probably gonna have about two alts. Oh, oh, oh we're going uh, here. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, going Frost here, baby. And, uh, DK is Pew. always going to be very close to my heart. I just love the fantasy of the spec. I like how it plays. I like the difference in the slow paced methodical of Frost. Well, I guess Unholy is also methodical and the super blasty and all over the place Unholy. And obviously, Blood Decay is also one of my uh, very, very favorite tanks. It's going to be an alt that I will definitely play. Not as much as other alts that I will mention later on, uh, <laughs> one specifically, but it's definitely going to be there as something I will consider to, to go to. All right, all right. Uh, Fire Mage, um, definitely going to put this one in meh for me uh, because I've dabbled into Frost Mage and I fell in love with it. And Frost Mage was, was another spec for me that was in the race for maining in 9.1. Mm. Uh, but I just, you know, I've just not decided yet on committing to a range to a main all the way because I'm a melee at heart. Yeah, same here, same, same here. Same here. Right, right, right. But uh, just, just to top it off, for Fire Mage is still super fun if you're into that type of play, play style. Yeah. It will still be really good in both Mythic Plus and Raids, but I do believe Frost is also going to get a uh, better representation because it's um uh, some people say it will outshine uh, oh fire really Revention, oh yes. that's interesting I so, so i'll we'll put it, it like this so i'll put here frost uh mm -hmm. fire sorry uh would you agree with me yeah i would yeah i i think it may i i actually started playing my my mage just now i just finished leveling and uh i've actually found it really fun actually which spec um yes. Uh, f uh, frost. frost, okay. <laughs> so for me, it's gonna be a main alt. Um, uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna uh, main it as frost, but I think it's the safe thing. There. The, the thing, the thing with mage for me is that uh, I would probably not main uh, as an alt fire, but I'm still undecided about the alt part. If I would have to put frost anyway, it would be at has potential together with arcane as well. And uh, mm -hmm. but it has the potential to become an alt, whether or not it becomes in the le in the half in the second half of okay. nine points. So I, I take your has potential and I put my I'm 100% gonna alt it and we put, put it yeah, on no, main no, alt. It's, it's it's main alt. It's fine. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's it's you already decided. All right, uh, red paladin for sure. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's there's no there's, there's no, no question. Discussion. Come on, man. You love red paladin. Oh, it's really. Fun. I love red paladin. There's no secret. We have a, a, a super deep love for the paladin spec, especially retribution. I mean, sure, it's. A slow melee uh, it's probably gonna get super nerfed in pvp but it still has this rewarding playstyle introduced in shadowlands with the uh final reckoning and execution mm. sentence you know the one minute bursty burst it's still good it's still fun to play and definitely worth uh alting uh, i'm not sure the uh, red again for me it was uh frost mage red paladin assassination rogue and feral druid who were like in the the race for mains mm -hmm. so for me definitely 100 percent alt uh, red paladin all right um, yeah, you talked about Arcane Yeah, Mage. I would say it has potential. It, it has, it has potential. It's right there. It's, it's fun. It has some interesting playstyles. I'm, st I still didn't get the legendaries yet, but I can uh, figure out exactly what uh, that I would really like. Uh, Arcane Mage in AOE. The thing is, with Arcane Mage, it's actually really good right now with Prifle because it gives you that unlimited mana and you can just go super crazy. Oh, yeah, I, know, I don't know how that. Away. Yeah, that's the thing, right? It's it's going away 9.1. Yeah. It's not going to be a thing as much, so I'm not 100% sure. I've always liked, if I would have to uh, choose one mage spec that would play forever and never touch the other ones, would be Arcane 100% because I just like the fantasy of it. I love Khadgar as an NPC and as uh, the, the class fantasy. <laughs> it's just, I feel like. The, it was really touched nicely in beta, but they kind of stripped it a little bit uh, until the release. So I was kind of bummed because I did consider Arcane to be a main while I was testing it out in beta. But right now, it's just the highest potential type spec. What about Wind Walker Monk? Wind Walker. Well, I, <laughs> I I can talk about it, and then you can you can uh, make your own decision. For me, yeah. Wind Walker has potential. Wind Walker is one of the most uh, I still consider one of the best designed melee uh, specs in the game. It, I find it very hard to, to have to say anything bad about Windwalker. Yep. It does it does do a lot of damage. The fantasy is nice, and yet still I cannot consider it main. There's something about it that I just I feel it's a little bit 
too perfect in most aspects and it's not it's not it's not, not as fun it can do i think windwalker is maybe one of the most complete melee dps specs it has good aoe it has good single target it has good utility it, it's a hybrid it can heal it has bursty cooldowns it has high sustained damage outside of the cooldowns it's very mobile it can resurrect it's it has a healer and a tank off spec which can be really nice but I think it's it's kind of like a jack of all trades. It does everything really good, but it doesn't shine like like you would say uh, assassination would, si would shine in single target or or out or survival shine in AOE, right? Yeah. It doesn't have that that oh shit moment. It's it's all of the moments are awesome, but they're not oh shit that's cool. And I think that's kind of why Windwalker for me it's kind of like a has potential type. Spot. Yeah, for me it's definitely gonna be an alt. <laughs> there you go, hey man, playing in PvP that's fine. Has potential you plus definitely many alt. I mean, I I played uh, Windwalker like since MOP uh, on and off, and I'm absolutely in love with the spec always have been and now since it's really good in shadowlands there's no question about it so uh, definitely alting that yeah. bad boy yeah. all right elemental shaman well uh, <laughs> uh you haven't played shaman have you no i'm um, not it's, uh, 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 it has it has potential it's a fun spec um it, they did do pretty well uh, with it in 905 they've uh, buffed earthquake and chain lining and all of that kind of stuff and it actually feels really nice it's still a spec that is reliant a little bit too much at least in terms of doing damage to uh in, in Mythic Plus, you're keeping things into work quick, and that can be a, a bit a bit of a pain. It's a very fun spec. It's a very satisfying spec with uh, all the sound effects and all the smashing yeah, we, we, and the, and the crashes. We, yeah, yeah, we, we always we all, all, like, it's, yeah, we always say that. I love it's, seeing an elemental. You know, I, I love having an elemental in my party. Right? It's, it's really it's really good. Elemental is probably not higher for me because enhancement is not performing as well as I would like it to perform, and it doesn't look like the devs will uh, court it any type of attention anytime soon. So uh, that's that's a big problem for well, me. So since we're on enhancement too. Where would you place uh, this bad boy? I would, I would still put it has potential. Um, oh, oh, it's not, <laughs> I'm not touching this. <laughs> enhancement, the enhancement can do stuff, man. Enhancement can do stuff, and it feels like their enhancement is maybe one of the the last specs that they haven't really touched too much. And it feels like it's just on or a brink if of getting. They're not touching it. I'm not touching it. <laughs> it just feels like it's on a brink of getting a lot of buffs, uh, and it was very satisfying to play it and master it. I mean, master I know, it. Just, I you just get good at it. But, but it just... I remember how frustrated you were in it, the first couple was, of weeks. Nah. Uh, it didn't feel that you had fun up until you really got those weapons. I believe. Yeah, so it felt too you, too reliant on too weapons. Too dependent. Yeah, too dependent on the weapons. Okay, so it still has potential. Yeah. What about Bunky? Let me put it right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Boomkin is um, it's a it's a fun. I I would put it into mech. I guess that would that would be where I would be. <laughs> what the fuck is there? Boomkin can be a little bit a little bit more fun, but it, again, it feels it, it feels like they're designing it really reliant on specific mechanics. It's really reliant on the legendary, which is gonna get nerfed. They're really hitting that Starfall uh, uh, stellar drift talent really shitty, and it's AOE. It, it feels like you can generate a lot of our uh, astral power and then just spam our uh, star falls, but it just doesn't stack. Now it will have a cooldown. So it's I don't particularly like the way they're they're doing balance. It could be way more fun, but I I just I don't have I don't like how they're designing it, man. That's all yeah. their shit. Yeah, fuck Bunkins. Okay, let's move along to Affliction oh, Warlock. A warlock uh, for me. Um, okay, you can you can say how many warlocks I mean, have you played? Uh, I only played. <laughs> I, I listen. I played Affliction in Warlords, and I played a little bit of Destruction in uh, BFA. But I see it as a super. Potential, it has it has a lot of potential. Uh, for, uh, um, alt. I, I all, almost always all, uh, had an, uh, my Warlock as an alt in pretty much any patch of the game. Uh, this time around I'm trying to uh, change things a little bit and uh, touch on uh, the classes that I don't usually play. So for me all of the Warlock specs uh, have potential. Have potential. Okay. I've seen, let's, let's uh, obvious, here. obviously Affliction is probably performing the best right now, although we'll see how that turns out in 9.1 in uh, PV and PvP. Uh, demo seems to be kind of like sneaking past, like like getting its head out of the bushes every now and again to see, oh. see what's going on <laughs> and uh death show is like always it's it's a solid spec it, it always does yeah. really well in pretty much anything that you do really and it's it's a fun fantasy for me it has potential it can be an alt but it's not an alt because of uh because of what's left on the list. Like, oh yeah, I, I know, I know. I was expecting this shadow priest. I think we can put him on main yeah. alt. Both yeah. of us. Put it, for me, put it ahead of uh, ahead of hunter because it's definitely going to be uh, uh, my main alt. I've started getting really, really heavy into shadow priest in terms of uh, the rotational death and mechanics and things to manage. Uh, it's really, yes. really, really close to Survival Hunter. I really like how they're doing it. It feels yeah, you like you keep comparing it to Survival yeah, Hunter. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, 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 you have a lot of things to do, especially in myth and even in single target. In single target, actually has a little bit more going to it than Survival Hunter. I yeah. feel, it's but. A lot. Um, 
in, in AOE, there's so many things you need to manage. It's just fun. It's like, oh, I need to do that, I need to do that, I need to do that. And you never get bored. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm yeah. happy for it to be uh, well, my main alt. And obviously, I like discipline as well, so it, it kind of works out. Well, this is the final picture. So, uh, I don't know if it's clear, we changed the, the names of the ranking. So, 100% will main Survival Assassination Rogue, main alt, Feral, BM, Shadow Priest, Sub Rogue, Outlaw Rogue. Frost Mage, Marksmanship Hunter, Frost DK, and Holy DK, Red Paladin, Windwalker Monk. So this will be the main alts, but should be told we're gonna play all of them for the guides. So yeah, you're, uh, you're gonna find the <laughs> yeah. This is like what we're playing more. Let's say now potential for you know uh, playing as a third or uh, no second alt would be Havoc Demon Hunter, Fury Warrior, Arms Warrior, Arcane Mage, Elemental Shaman, stuff like that. Yeah. Shaman and all the Warlock specs, and in the next category it's basically the caster meta <laughs> yeah it's, from it's, it's like the, uh, yeah actually now yeah, that you mention it that. it is fire mage and boomy i'm not i'm not excited about playing an overpowered spec i'm, I'm not excited if, if people expect me to do high damage i actually like to surprise people i actually feel like i want to challenge myself and you know okay yep. i'm playing this people think it's bad let me show you that it's, that that it's not uh, interesting we don't have any not touching this specs uh, uh, in the uh, in the current uh, situation we'll see we'll see yeah. if things the, the, change, the thing is man with all the shit that we're giving Charlens, they're actually the, the, the specs are actually kind of fun it's it's hard to play them for a long time i think that's where where they're missing out that they're not offering enough death for the specs to be interesting in the long run but if you're going to pick play them for like a couple of weeks at a time in a patch it's really fun it's hard not to enjoy the the the, the playstyle is just fun the gameplay is fun yes yes and you know what else is fun our patreons baby thank you so much guys for supporting all of this content shall we go through the content they're supporting once again mr flame yes yeah, so well obviously you're supporting the tier list but not really tier list you're supporting the podcast which are on every monday you're supporting the news shows which are on wednesdays and the class updates which will turn into class guides once the 9.1 meta is out then we can actually test the specs in the raid and then and so on and yep. of course all uh, that with the stream as well which a lot of you guys are having a lot of fun on Streams and we do when you guys are in, so thank you as well for. Yeah, he's just I'm, coming I'm only in. Having fun with he's he's only uh, dance yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> dancing and singing and Jesus Christ. But yeah, the, we're not gonna we're not gonna beat around the bush. Thank you for supporting us on our stream as well. And obviously, there you can catch us play everything. And of course, when the raid hits, you're gonna see us raid. Yeah, uh, that double cam and all of that. So uh, thank you for watching, and you have a great weekend ahead. Take care. Bye bye. I've been loving it then, I still love it now Still, I play wild Still, I play wild Getting better every day, let me show you how Cause still, I play wild Still, I play wild It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day It's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow Still, I play 